so welcome to stage 25 i think this is going to be quite a simple um, issue we have three plastic parts uh, the fuel tank and two heater hoses and they just look like halves of each other um, so we will uh, begin uh, we will actually be attaching this to the chassis as well which is why i've got the chassis out we've also got some cp screws which i've already put away in my little container and obviously we will need a screwdriver so we begin with the fuel tank that we need to place onto the underside of the chassis between the left rear suspension and the transmission so that's why we did the transmission when we uh, sorry the suspension when we did and you can see there's two holes there for screws and two holes there and that will go in flat side towards the middle and that goes in very nicely there so we need to get two CP screws ready and we need to turn this over and holding oh do you know what I've got too many holes here <laughs> um, so it looks like it's going to be these two so I'm just going to I'm uh, yeah I believe it's those two so I'm going to screw this one in first what I find quite interesting there we go that's gone in perfect this wire this hose there that we put into that it actually goes into the middle of the fuel tank it's not secured but you can put it in a, a, a long way and I do recognize that as the fuel pump um, I have a very limited knowledge of um, um, of, of mechanics and I know that that's the fuel pump and it goes into there which obviously fuels the engine um, so it all looks correct to me um, so let's pop this second screw in I haven't put the first screw in fully tightened just in case this is off a little bit and because this is plastic I'm letting it tell me when to stop and I will just now finish this first screw off and that is in place and I can't move that so that's the fuel tank in place so next we want I'm going to put it this way around because that's a safer side so the next parts that we need is the two heater hose at one and two and we we have this rounded one and then we're going to place this flatter end onto there like so so it's going to create a little bit of a hole there and we're going to secure that with guess guess um, what screws CP screws so this time around I'm going to attach the middle screw first just enough just to bite so that the part isn't falling off and then we can get two more CP screws and I will attach the second one until it bites it doesn't matter which way round you do this um, but as you know I like to just put the screws in just so that they bite oh that's struggling and then once you've got the, all three of them in then you can tighten them up and you can either give them just a little turn each and then keep keep going backwards and forwards to the different screws that's now in fully tight and that one's fully tight and again this is a plastic part so it will tell you when it's tight enough so we'll just test it so as long as there's no gaps you know that's in tight enough and, and the piece isn't flapping so back to the uh, chassis and we need to turn it over again so maybe I should have had it this way round all the time um, so we have the fuel tank there and we need to place this piece so that the flattened end is towards the exhaust pipe and you see there you've got two pegs there and two pegs there and that's going to go in somewhere there we go so what it does is it creates this this tube it looks like it's coming from the engine and going in towards the the rear of, of the vehicle so we now next we will need two cp screws so i will get one ready and one on my screwdriver and 
holding the part we're going to turn this over and we're going to look for these two screw holes there and we will just screw this one in just so that it bites and that doesn't want to go in when a screw doesn't want to go in oh it does go in it is actually going in because um, when a screw doesn't want to go and it suggests that maybe you've got the part located in the wrong position so second screw going in now uh, it was actually incorrect you see when I when I wiggled it the screw fell out and that's why I don't screw and screw and screw until it's, it's in because it had I screwed it then I would actually have um, I would actually have probably stripped the hole a little bit so I found with this part this this screw there went in absolutely fine this one I just needed to push the part towards the middle a little bit so um, that's it guys that is the end of issue uh, stage 25 it's also the end of the pack um, so I'm not able to tell you what's going to happen next theoretically however you know me I've gone onto the website I've had a look at the next pack and I believe the next stage we're working on the the other side of the suspension so I'd love to know your thoughts about this um, sec lastly I need to say a big thank you um, first of all I want to say a big thank you to P40F20 who's made or reminded me to put the towel down he made that comment on a previous video um, there's also somebody else who made a comment and I will thank him again in the next video because I can't remember his name um, when I did the introduction video I said about this wobbling and he actually reminded me that I've actually missed two screws out um, I did screw it in under there but there are I've got to find it now there we go so there's two screws there and I actually missed those out that's why my engine is moving um, it wasn't a problem because engines do move um, but I didn't think it was supposed to so um, between this video and the next video I will put those uh, screws in and I will show you at the beginning of stage 26 what I've done and I will go back through my videos um, if anybody helps me out big time and that was a big help obviously I do like to say thank you um, so I hope to catch you in stage 26 this has been the fuel tank and I hope to see you next week take care bye bye so I've decided to do a little supplemental um, I've just put the two screws in and um, this is from issue 15 the chassis um, and all we actually get is the chassis and three lots of screws um, now in order to, to put that chassis in we obviously need metal screws um, so we're going to be using the BM or the IM screws now the IMs we only got three and the BMs we got one two three four five six seven eight um, now as you can see from stage two that's when we put the engine into place um, and then we don't get told about BM screws until stage four where we screw and I've screwed those in but in actual fact if you look at stage three if you look closely they've actually put the uh, screws in blue but they haven't actually told us to screw them in um, so I think I'm off the hook there um, because I didn't put them in because I wasn't told to put them in um, so but I have put them in now and um, yes so yeah they're, they're in place now